Children's book niches are some of the most lucrative low content book niches out there, but they're also some of the most competitive. Now, like any other low content book niche, once you've identified a broad niche to work within, if you wanna be able to make it profitable for yourself, you're going to have to drill down as far as you can go, looking for those untapped or underserved sub-segments that are just waiting to be exploited. Today, I'm gonna to give you five lucrative hidden gem children's low content book sub-niches for you to explore, so let's go ahead and get to it. I'm Rachel Harrison Sun, and I help online entrepreneurs make more money so they can live more life. If that's you, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified each time I post a new video every single Monday. Now, first thing I do when I'm trying to uncover some hidden gems is I like to go to the Amazon bestsellers list. So I've done that here, and there are a couple of categories in particular that I really like to scroll through just because there tend to be quite a few good low content book ideas. So first one I usually like to go to is this crafts, hobbies, and home section. So you can just scroll all the way through and oftentimes you'll find all sorts of uh, various low content books. So let that shit go, um, unicorn coloring book. I've got a, a prompted coloring book here, uh, another coloring book. So all sorts of different uh, different types of low content book ideas you can get just from scrolling through this bestsellers list. Another one that I often like to look through is the self-help section. It's usually a, got a lot of good ideas for things like prompted journals, um, different niche coloring books, things like that. So it's a good idea to spend some time regularly just going through these different bestsellers lists. You can see there's just so many different categories that you can go through. I definitely recommend going through them all just to find some of those hidden gems. Now I've already gone ahead and done that. So everything I'm gonna show you now, these five hidden gems are all ones that I pulled straight out of the bestsellers lists here. So the first one is how to draw. So this is one that looks like it might be a little bit complex to do on your own to begin with, but it's actually pretty simple. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. Now you can see here, the drawings are actually pretty simple and it's pretty easy to do something similar. All you need to go do is go to a stock image website. Creative Fabrica is my favorite. And if you're unfamiliar with them, you can check out, I've got multiple videos on my channel um, explaining what they are and how to use their, their imagery. But basically you can just go ahead and find a stock image, something really simple like this, open it up in a vector editing program, and then essentially just start removing pieces of the drawing until you get down to their most uh, simple elements. So you can see that's exactly what we're doing here with this lion drawing and this pig. And as I said, basically you can just open up a drawing, a simple drawing that you find um, on a site like Creative Fabrica, open it up in a vector editing program, and then just start manipulating that drawing and, and removing the various elements stage by stage. And that's how you can end up with something like this. Now, let me know if you want to see me do a tutorial on how to create one of these how to draw books. I can definitely do that if there's enough interest. So let's go ahead and just scroll down and we'll see where this lands in terms of its bestsellers rank. All right, so number 436. You guys, this book is killing it. Like, oh my gosh, <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Number 436 in the entire Amazon store. So this is absolutely killing it. So let's just go ahead and pop over to Publisher Rocket. This is a keyword research tool. It's my favorite keyword research tool. And I'm not gonna go through all the ins and outs of how to operate this uh, software in this video, but I've got a couple videos on my channel you can check out if you wanna get more of an in-depth tutorial. But for now, we're just gonna head over to keyword search and I'm gonna type in how to draw. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and you've gotta click on this orange button to get the information for each one of these keywords. So I'm not gonna go down the entire list because there's, as you can see, there are quite a few related keywords to how to draw. 
but we'll just go through the first few and see what we can come up with here. All right, I'll stop there for now. So you can see uh, the competitive score is quite high up on a lot of these keywords. Lots of search volume though, which is great. So let's just cruise down a bit further. And now we can start to see a few that are starting to look good. So 583 searches a month. You know, I like to keep it about a thousand and above if possible, but with something like this, you could still pair this particular keyword, so how to draw anime for kids nine to 12. You could pair this with another more competitive keyword, like say our original how to draw. And for something like this, it would definitely be more about getting the right mix of keywords. So even at you know only just under 600 searches per month, because a competitive score is decent, this is definitely a keyword that I would explore further. So let's go ahead, no, we haven't gone too much further down the line. Let's go ahead and we'll just dive in. This this one looks good too, how to draw anything. But let's go ahead and check out this how to draw anime for kids nine to 12. So this is the competition analyzer. It's gonna show us what the monthly sales are for these books. It's also gonna show us the different competitors here. Um, you know, what the quality level is for some of these books. So this anime one might be a little bit more difficult. Unless, of course, you actually do know how to draw anime and you are an illustrator, then you could probably clean up very well in that particular keyword. Let's go down the line a little bit further. So how to draw comics, that looks like a decent one there. How to draw dinosaurs, that could be a cool one. How to draw dragons. So you can see there are tons more variations of this keyword here. So I would definitely go down this entire list and try to find a keyword that's really worth pursuing. So this for sure is one that I would explore further. All right, the next hidden gem is dot marker activity books. All right, so just in case you've never heard of this before, this is uh, those dot markers, those uh, bingo dabbers that uh, they're also sometimes called. So you can just see how like absolutely simple a book like this could be to create. So you've just got various shapes, uh, shapes here. Here's another example. This one's a little bit more complex. So this again would be pretty easy to do. You could go ahead and if, if, if you haven't already watched my coloring book tutorials, you could actually use one of those tutorials that I've already made to make something like this. So you would just follow along with that tutorial and I'll, I'll link to that in the description. Um, and then you would basically just fill up the shapes with these little circles for the bingo dabber. So this just gives you a bit more of a general idea of the different um, images that you could use. Now these are a big hit with kids. I've got one and a half year old and he absolutely loves doing these dot marker activity books. So let's go ahead and take a look. So 8,000, that's awesome. What about that first one that we looked at? 3,400, again, super great bestsellers rank for both of these. And let's go ahead and check it out in Publisher Rocket. All right, so dot markers for toddlers, that's sticking out. You've got almost 700 search volume and a nice mid-level competitive score here. So let's go ahead and check that out. So I'm looking down the left-hand side here. I'm just taking a look at the quality. Is this something that I can personally compete against? And if I want, I can just click on one of those uh, and it'll take me straight to that book's uh, book detail page on Amazon so I can get a little bit more information. Looking at the monthly sales here, I mean, this is great. 1,500 bucks a month, 1,014. Um, you know, most of these are doing quite well. 
So again, this is definitely uh, a niche that I would want some further information on and I'd, I definitely want to explore this one. Okay, next one is color by numbers. So this is a, a cool little, like I hadn't even thought of this until I saw this uh, in the bestsellers list, but what a great way to niche down on the coloring book uh, niche. Now the, the look inside isn't activated here, but I'll just open this up. Again, basically you could just go somewhere like Creative Fabrica, you could get some nice artwork that you strip down just to its you know black and white uh, line components, and then, I don't know if you can see this, but you would basically just need to add, you know, in this case, you've got geometric shapes. They've kind of converted everything into triangles. Um, and then, you know, there's numbers inside and they'll, they'll have probably a, um, a legend that shows you which number corresponds to which color. And then that's kind of the final result right there. So this is really cool. Um, let's see, 24,000, that is excellent. Really nice take on the highly competitive coloring book niche. Heading over to Publisher Rocket here. So color by number activity book, that's got some pretty decent search and not a bad competition score. There's a color by number adult coloring book here. Color by number animals. So there's quite a few different options here. Let's just go ahead and click in to one or two of them. So again, looking at the competition, seeing you know what the quality is like. Oh, I love French bulldogs. I, I have a French bulldog, so I always love seeing uh, French, French bulldog artwork. That's just giving me a good idea of what's already out there. And again, monthly sales are looking good. 800 bucks, 18, 400. I mean, frankly, even $75 a month on one book. That's decent. So these are all doing really well. So this is another niche that I would definitely want to explore further. All right, next up, we've got dot to dot, AKA connect the dot. So those are actually two different keywords you can check out. So once again, just go to your favorite stock image website, find some cute drawings um, that you can kind of just deconstruct and lay in the, the dots and the numbers over top. It's pretty easy. And let me know if any of these hidden gem niches are uh, of interest to you and you wanna see me create a tutorial on how to create any of them, just let me know in the comments because that is the kind of stuff that I absolutely love. So let's check out the best sellers rank, 4,600, doing really well. And let's head over to Publisher Rocket. All right, so I could check out dot to dot or connect the dots. And I would definitely check out both of them. Okay, connect the dots coloring book. This is excellent. We've got 1400 searches per month, a really decent, uh, you know, moderately competitive score here. So let's go ahead and check that out. All right, so again, monthly sales like 3,600, 100, 15, 24, 42, doing really well. And then for our last hidden gem, we have got What's Different or AKA Spot the Difference. So essentially, again, you can download some stock imagery and you can lay them side by side. Let's see, do we have a side by side version of it here? Well, you get the point. I mean, you know what a spot the difference is. You would just, you know, do a copy and paste and then start either adding or removing some elements so that you've got um, one with some differences to the other one. So again, easily created using some high quality stock imagery. And this one is, now I've been talking a lot about using stock imagery here, but of course, if you're an artist or an illustrator and you can create this stuff from scratch, even better. 
All right, 5,900, so again, really great ranking. Now, some of these Spot the Difference books are in full color, and obviously we want to keep our printing costs down, so we are avoiding printing in full color and printing in black and white. So one thing you can do with these is to market them as Spot the Difference coloring books. So that way you can use two different... Uh, two different types of keywords. You can use keywords related to coloring books and you can also use keywords related to spot the different or uh, spot the difference or what's different. So we've got spot the difference activity book, a little bit low on the searches and a little bit higher on the competitive score. Spot the difference book, that's looking not too bad there. Spot the Difference Kids, that's definitely looking more like it. 500 searches and a lower com competition score. And there's a bunch of bunch more to go through here, but this, again, certainly uh, another hidden gem keyword that I would definitely explore further. So again, if you want me to create a tutorial on any of these hidden gem niches that you've just seen me go through, let me know in the comments which one, which one you want to see me um, create for you guys. There you have it. I hope you have some fun exploring those hidden gem children's book niches. If you're new to low content publishing and need some extra help, download my free guide, Three Steps to Publishing Your First Low Content Book in Less Than a Day. You can also join my free Facebook group, Low Content Profits. Links to both of those are down below. Watch these videos next for more low content book niches to explore. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with anyone you think might be interested. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week.